Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJSPRC. Today I want to talk a little bit about CA glue. Different type of CA glue, different thickness of CA glue, and what you could do with it exactly. Uh, now in these CA glue I got to my local hobby shop. And I have three types in front of me right now. I have uh, the super thin, the gap filling, medium, and extra thick. Now the difference is it's the vigosity of the physical liquid. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the camera, just the way. This is basically like water. This guy, the medium, is a little bit like maybe 3% milk, maybe a little bit thicker. The extra thick is a little bit like extra thick gravy, the way it moves. It's a little bit sluggish. Now with these glues here, basically what you could do with it is glue your tires of your vehicle. Okay, like it, this is done here, it's not moving. Even this guy here. Or if you're doing a styrene body, you could use it on styrene to be able to glue your pieces together and that kind of type. Now, the other thing too, the drying time is a little bit different for every CA glue, uh, depending on thickness of it. There's products out there to help you make them dry faster. They're called CA accelerators. Uh, you have a spray and like a pump action. Both will do the same job. Just just the way to apply it. It's a little bit different. Now let's say you're gluing basically uh, some foam. You have a foam airplane. Unfortunately, you cannot use these guys here. They will melt your foam. Let's put these guys aside and bring these two right here. Major difference between this guy and these ones here will melt your foam, will not melt your foam. They're foam safe. It's the uh, recipe in the CA that doesn't prevent it from melting the foam. Again, you have uh, thin and medium, and these are both odorless. That means they do not off-gas uh, a smell. The CA will off-gas as a little smell. These guys won't. Now again, these two here will still work with accelerators if you need to use it on it. Now, there's another one that does exist too, is the extra strength, extra strength. Uh, it's made out of a carbon and rubber. Basically is, and this one is black too, the other ones are clear. It's rubbery, it stays a little bit rubbery, it stays flexible on your item, you're gonna use it. Again, this you can use on styrene, you can even, even go and use it on your tires if you wanted to. Not foam safe, do not use on foam. Again, this guy can be used with the accelerators. There's no problem on this side. Now, some of you might notice on the cap of these glues, this has a cap and that one doesn't. And if I bring that to the other, other bottles I have here, same thing too. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it this way. The difference, the reason I don't use these the caps that came with it i'll show you guys i hope you can see it this one was kept that way and sometimes these glue themselves to the physical uh cap of it and the other thing what i notice that happens the glue on the tip here dries and next thing you know you when you're trying to use it it won't come out because the complete inside of the cap is dry that's one of the reasons I don't use this. Basically what I use, it's a normal uh, thumbtack. I'll go grab one right here. This normal thumbtack, I just put on the tip of it. Basically remove it when I need it. Now this part is never filled with glue and dry. This prevents it. I do it for this guy. I did it for even for this guy here. Comes out very easy. Pop it back in. Same thing for this guy right here. This is basically what I do with these guys. 
even if it's a the foam safe or any bottle that I have, this is what I use. Now these guys are brand new, never been used yet. That's one of the reason uh, I didn't put the thumbtack. Now, if let's say it happens that you put a little bit of that CA on your hands, it's not something you can just rub off. It will stay there. Now, there is a couple of products out there. Uh, CA remover will dissolve the CA off your hands if, if you do happen to put it, or if you do happen to glue your fingers or something together, it will, use, it will work too. The other product I do use is basically a nail polish remover. It will dissolve the CA. Not as fast compared to the, the bonder, things like that, but if you're in a pinch, those are the kinds of products you can physically use with uh, the CA. That would be with the foam safe or the non-foam safe. It is going to work on it with the debonder. Uh, same thing for the accelerators too. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the, the, the like button in the corner right here. I do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.